G'day everyone, welcome back to the True Footy YouTube channel. I am joined by Druzy of the Druzy YouTube channel. Druzy, are you very excited to be on another clout grabbing True Footy video again? Always happy to be on the True Footy channel. Don't know how much clout I'd grab because I've had about five subscribers in the last month, but happy to be here nevertheless. Ah, oh, that's five more than last month, buddy. Um, <laughs> today... You're not wrong. It's actually seven more. <laughs> Today, we are going to be going through each of the 18 AFL teams and choosing which player we would steal for our own club. So, uh, we're gonna go through the ladder in order of 2023's ladder and literally pick one player. Uh, for me, I'm gonna say which player I want for West Coast and Drewsy's gonna pick a player that he wants for Fremantle. And this is gonna be based on age and experience and, and type of player as well. Drewsy, are you ready? Have you prepared for this video? Always prepared, definitely didn't forget about this. Ready to go. All right, Drewsy, we're gonna start with Collingwood and then uh, move all the way down to whichever team came last. I think it might've been North Melbourne. Uh, and then we're gonna do um, each other's club at the end, all right, for a bit of suspense. So let's start with the Collingwood footy club. Drewsy, if you had to pick one player to join Fremantle, Mantle, who would it be? See, everyone's just going to be like, Nick Dacos, Josh Dacos, Darcy Moore. I'm taking Lockie Schultz back. I want Lockie Schultz <laughs> back in my forward line. He was a proven good player for us. Kicked bags of goals. Top five in our BNF. He slots straight back in. I'm taking Lockie Schultz. I think Lockie Schultz would look great in Fremantle colours. Maybe when you get to Gold Coast, you could maybe go for a Lockie Weller type. St Kilda, maybe a Liam Henry. You need some run on the wing. Uh, Jesse Hogan would look great in purple if you got him back to G from maybe GWS. Lockie Neal, Rory maybe. Lott. There's so many players that I think <laughs> would look good at Fremantle right yeah. now. <laughs> the two-time Brownlow medalist in Brisbane, he'd go all right. Oh, the list goes on and on. Anyway, um, look, I wrote down the most basic bitch answer. I think the Dacos brothers, I wrote down Josh as a backup if you went Nick, but uh, I'm going to take Nick. I think age profile as well. Rebuilding side, Nick's like 20, so that makes sense. What about the Brisbane Lions, Drews? The player that I like for Brisbane the most is Zach Bailey, so I'm going to go with Ooh. Zach Bailey. That was a re that was my backup. I'm glad you left this one open, but I, I will throw a different name in there. I'm a big fan of Starsevic, uh, West Australian boy. Like, there's more talented players maybe on the Brisbane well definitely is on the Brisbane list I think Stasevich is just a very likeable player I'd love to see in the Eagles set up I did hear through the grapevine we are having a crack but I, we probably won't be successful uh, let's talk about Port Adelaide who came third ooh I'm gonna go with oh this is a tricky one uh, Zach Butters just because mm. gun inside mid and that chuck him in with Brayshaw and Sarong they'd have a big party yeah, the thing is with Port, I think they've got two standout players. Not only are they standout players, but they're also young and haven't hit their prime yet. So, like, how can you go past Butters? And I'll, I'll probably take Rosie. Um, but i got to say, Jason Horn francis was also a player I considered. I think uh, on talent, he's not far behind. Uh, we, we had a team come fourth called the Melbourne Demons this year. Elite uh, segue. Um, who are you taking from the Melbourne Football Club? Uh, maybe to match the list demographic of Frio. Like, because you don't just want to go for the stars, otherwise this video will be boring. Okay. So I'm going to go Jacob Van Royen, just because Ooh. I wanted him in the uh, the draft class. We took Jai Amos, Erasmus and Johnson. He's in that same draft class. Um, so I just think he fits the age demographic of our list. I'm going to go with Jacob Van Royen. Good call. That was also my pick. So to throw a second name in there, Cozzy Pickett. I think uh, he's kind of got West Australian links, I think, uh, but also just uh, an outstanding play that I think is going to break out. And, you know, 37 goals this year, four tackles a game. I think he would work really well on West Coast forward line and the right age profile. What about the Carlton Blues, Drews? Um, I'm getting all the first picks here. Um, Carlton, I'm taking Jacob Wiedering. Strong down back. As steady as they come. One of the best fullbacks in the league. So I'm taking I'm taking the weeders. Yeah. Okay. So, so just to be clear, the rules are that I can pick the same player, but for to make the video interesting, I, I'm surprised you went past Sam Walsh. I think he's probably the man. Uh, but to throw another realistic one in there, somewhat realistic, I'll go Jesse Motlop as probably the next one after that. I think he's got a, a lot of potential at AFL level. Let's talk about the St Kilda Football Club who finished sixth. Um, or... Oh. <laughs> <laughs> this is tricky. I think we need a big bodied mid, so I'm just going to go Jack Steele. Basic bitch. So you're, you're favouring the more mature types because I yeah, feel like there's a lot of young Yeah, we've lost Mundy. There. Fierce yeah. at the end of his at, it, at the end of his career. Jack Steele's right in his prime. Yeah, we'll, we'll go Jack Steele. Nice. I think for West Coast, I'd be looking at their younger crop, which I really rate. Machido Owens. I've talked to him up a lot. And I think he would just be a dynamic 
um, game breaker for us potentially uh, but then also Nazai Wanganin Miller is also another player that I think would work really well at West Coast the player that I did like in his draft here let's talk about the GWS football club another stacks team who you take in for free now it's so hard to not just go with the star players Josh Kelly I need we need a wingman Chuck him on the outside. He's a wingman, right? Uh, he's he's an outside mid. I think he could yeah. play wing, but I think you'll find he does play a lot on the ball. Okay, we'll go with we'll go with Josh Kelly. I'm going to go slightly younger, but no less elite. Arguably even more elite in my opinion, and that is Sam Taylor, the West Australian mm. intercepting key back, who I think is a lock to be All Australian key defender this year. Huge fan, and I would love West Coast to actually have a crack in like 12 months or whenever his contract is up, uh, maybe 24 months. We've got the Sydney Swans next. Let's team up Lockie Schultz now that he's back with Tom Papley that's a gun pocket rocket mm. dynamic duo I love watching Tom Papley okay I like it that's a good choice um, look I, I love Logan McDonald but I think Errol Golden if, if he's available ah, at rats. 21 years of age I think um, you know he would slot into any team regardless of whether they're rebuilding or not because I think he's so young that he could fit into a rebuilding team quite easily so thank you for giving me that uh, layout yeah, there yeah Golden's a gun I love Golden Western Bulldogs now. <laughs> Marcus Pontempelli. <laughs> well, you can say that. Well, you can say Bont, but the reason that I wouldn't say Bont is because he is going to be turning 29 in 2024. 20, mm. So that probably does make sense for Fremantle, but probably not for, for West Coast. So He's yeah, one of the best Bont. players. Like When you go to a football game and actually watch it in person, it's so much different to watching it on TV. Just watching the impact that he has across the ground and just his presence in contests just one of the best players I've ever seen so I can't yeah. can't go past the bond I agree I'm a huge fan um, certainly probably one of the best players I've seen that hasn't won a Brownlow medal That's it's crazy for West Coast looking at the Bulldogs there's a couple of West Australian key position players they're not necessarily the best players on the list um, the obvious one is probably Jamara but Aaron Norton I think would mm. be a cool long term partner to Oscar Allen um, and failing that maybe a more realistic one in Jed Buzzlinger who hasn't played at AFL yeah. level yet but um, as a key back young West Australian key back with talent he makes sense for us. Now Great we've got the Adelaide Crows. What are you thinking from an Adelaide point of view? Man, my, my forward line's looking pretty stacked. Uh, where can well, I we go? Don't, you, can, you don't have to necessarily change which player because of previous players yeah, you've yeah, picked. You can uh, just yeah. like pick a one player that would suit Fremantle. I'll go Geordie Butts down back. He's coming on real strong. Definitely one of their best wow. defenders. We need, need some depth down back. We'll go with Geordie Butts. Yeah, prior to recording, you were telling me you were an enormous fan of butts. Uh, I'm going to go with another key position player. Um, and, you know, there's so many players available uh, at Adelaide. Like, Jordan Dawson is the most obvious one. But, you know, it really did kind of burn me after the fact that the West Coast Eagles missed out on a trade for Daniel Curtin. I just think that would have been such a nice draft haul if we got him. So if, if I could maybe just reverse that and make sure that West Coast get Daniel Curtin, I'd be a very happy man. But Isaac Rankin, Joshua Shelley, like, there's so many to choose from. Uh, we've got the Essendon Football Club now. God, I'm excited in opposite land. <laughs> Can I pass? <laughs> <laughs> Stop alienating my audience. <laughs> um, all right, young gun, players I like to watch for Essendon. I'm going with Archie Perkins. I think he has the most upside on that list or one of the players with the most upside. So I'm taking the perk. Yeah, nice. The perk indeed. Uh, I think you might have missed this guy, maybe. Maybe not. Uh, Perkins is a good shout, but this guy I actually think would be a good fit for Fremantle and West Coast, and that is the West Australian Nick Martin, who kind of made a name for himself as a wingman this year. I think he's played two seasons now um, at, at Essendon and had a good bump of improvement this year. And as a wingman, he suits both clubs and only 22 years of age. So I think Nick Martin is one guy I'd take. What about the Geelong Football Club? This wasn't interesting. They've got a, a really mixed demographic on their list. Who are you taking for Fremantle? The Coning, down back. Loved what I saw from him in his premiership year. Um, super athlete. I like him a lot. I think I'm going to go with Ollie Henry here. I think it's uh, it was crazy to me that he kicked 41 goals this year as a medium forward in his like third or fourth, I think third year. Um, and I think you can extrapolate that and he will become a genuinely good medium-sized forward of the comp, um, potentially a 50-goal season next year, I reckon. I like Ooh. this one. Ollie Henry for West Coast. Uh, I'd be absolutely stoked with that. Let's talk about Richmond. They've got a few West Australian talents, but it doesn't have to be West Australian. Who are you taking? Ooh, well, Liam Baker's been rumoured to come back a few times, and I know West Coast would try to sniff him up, so I'm going to take mm. Liam Baker. Um, I nice. think, yeah, he's, he's sort of edging that elite status now, I reckon. You watch games, and he can really turn them on its head. 
West Australian boy, can play a number of roles. Let's go with Liam Baker. Nice. I did have Baker as my backup, which means my first choice is still available. I think Baker signed a fairly lengthy contract, uh, by the way. So I think I think he is staying at Richmond. Uh, yeah. But I, you know, looking at Richmond's young talent, a lot of it's just unproven. I don't know if it's any good. So I'm gonna just gonna go with one of their best players in Shea Bolton as an absolute yeah. home run there. <laughs> um, make makes sense for West Coast and uh, yeah, unbelievable player to watch. We've got the Gold Coast Suns now. Who are you taking from a Fremantle point of view? Don't feel like I've taken a big key forward, so I'll go with Ben King. Again, fits the age demographic. Um, yeah, he's just meant to be one of the big best forwards for the, the next 10 years or so. Deceptively young as well. Uh, it feels like the King twins have been about, around for a while because they. I feel like they had a bit of a profile from the moment they were drafted, but I think they've only played like five seasons in the AFL now, which puts them at 23. So good choice. I think um, if I had to throw up another one, Jack Lacocious might be one of my favorite Gold Coast players. But if it's a West Coast needs thing, we've probably we've probably got a similar player in Marrick. Whereas, by, obviously, Lacocious is better. But by contrast, a Charlie Ballard might come in and, and just really fit yeah. a, a, a gap in the list that we just do not have at the moment. So that's probably my choice, uh, Charlie Ballard. But there's a few good ones. We're up to the last three teams here. we got the Hawks now. Uh, who are you taking for Fremantle? Not sure how realistic this is or how realistic any of this is. But Carl Lamon's a player that I like a lot. Um, Interesting. Dangerous left foot wing we'll, we'll take him our wing does not have much depth at the moment so I like that uh, for West Coast um, you know we've drafted heavily for the midfield but it's hard to go past Will Day and I know that Newcomb mm. is possibly better actually I don't know Will, just won, Will Day just won their best and fairest Newcomb is probably closer to his ceiling and I think Will Day probably just has a little bit of like Bontempelli light about him that I really like Josh Weddle was another one I considered but Will Day has already won a best and fairest and I think is a much safer bet. So that's my choice. We've got the North Melbourne Football Club now, Drews. Um, who are you liking from the Roos? Can't go past Nick Larkey, eh? Like, one of the best forwards in the comp. Get him in a good side like Frio and he'll kick 100. Yeah, uh, yeah, I think that's a fairly safe one for Fremantle. Um, there's a lot of young talent there from North, but um, I'm going to look past the guy I've talked up all summer in, in LDU, as good as he is. Give me Colby McKercher. I, I loved him in his draft year. I think he is such a silky player. I think he's such a lock to be such a good player, like a Zach Merritt type, but potentially better. I don't know. Um, and I, I think there's like day cost qualities in, in McKercher. So um, even though he hasn't played a game, I, that's the player I would take. I should have taken Sheasel. Sheasel, yeah, Sheasel's a good chance. Um, absolutely. I don't know, it's tough. They've, they've got some really gun talents, man. It's, it's. I don't know what the end of that sentence is. Real good jump. <laughs> <laughs> all right, Drews, now we're up to the hardest question of all. We've omitted each other's teams up until this point. And you're going to have to shelve your pride amongst all the other things that you shelve on a regular basis. And I want to hear which West Coast player you would take to join Fremantle if you could choose. Can I take Ollie Reid? Is that allowed? <laughs> Can take yes! Can take Ollie Reed. Yeah. Is that the only yeah. good player left on your list? Yeah, I'm going to go with bro, Harley Reid. Bro, you would bow down to Roscoe Allen and you wouldn't be oh, fit of to show his shoes. I reckon yeah. we passed on Oscar Allen, Allen as well. Yeah, mm. it was between Allen and Reid. I think we did pass on Oscar Allen in the draft for some stupid reason. What pick was he at? He was picked 21. I'm trying to think who you took that year. What year? No, you took you took Brayshaw and Cheris. So yeah, you yeah. You didn't um, have it even the choice. So unless you took him at pick five, which was never going to happen, uh, no. Yeah. So for Fremantle, um... <sighs> plenty of the Jews from bro. Is there? Nah. Yeah. I I've got <laughs> two clear candidates. I I I've gone with Caleb Sarong over Jai Amos. I think Caleb Sarong is a uh, is an absolute jet and probably does add something a little bit different to what we have in our midfield from an attributes point of view. Uh, if we did get him, we'd still probably need a bit of outside class. Uh, the other one, yeah, like I said, Amos, he could complement Allen well. They'd work together really well, I think. But Caleb Sarong, uh, it's hard to go past him because I think he's a lot more of a lock to, to actually reach his potential. He's already All-Australian, so that's my choice. Yeah, seeing Sarong come on has been so good. He just improved year to year. Obviously got All-Australian this year, as you said. Um, I thought you would have gone Hayden Young, maybe. Maybe a sniff. Mm. Um, but no, Caleb Sarong, what a, what a superstar he is. Young's a good shout, but the thing is, yeah, uh, Sarong is already an All-Australian midfielder, and mm. I think could win a Brownlow one day. He's just tough, he's tenacious, they're both really young. Um, I, I, yeah, give me Sarong, but yeah, no, Young's a good player as well. But anyway, that is us picking one player from each club to join our own to try and improve it. Drizzy, this has been absolutely unreal to do this with you, and um, I miss you, buddy. <laughs> I miss you too, my queen.
<laughs> Why did you say I miss you? <laughs> you know, it, it's funny how like I've pro- I've done a thousand videos in my life. I've done like three hundred in three months. It feels like, and I still get to the end of the video sometimes, and I'm like, how do I end this? <laughs> <laughs> Subscribe to my channel. <laughs> Anyway, guys, thank you for watching. Make sure you subscribe to both Drewzy and myself, and we will see you in the next video. Cheers.